Alrighty, everyone. It is release day for M. Bison in Street Fighter 6. It is June 26, 2024. And I am going to try him out. Let's do everything. Let's just, this one video here will be covering the basics of Bison. All right. Let's go ahead. Good. All right. Right here. No, it's. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> the basics of Bison. How to play as M. Bison. M. Bison has a number of long-reaching moves, allowing him to overwhelm his opponent with his suffocating ground game. His powerful space-creating strikes and special moves control the neutral or surprise your opponent with Shadow Rise and its follow-up. <laughs> Excuse me. By hitting an enemy with the back fist combo, you'll plant a Psycho Mine on them. Oh, I did not know that. I wonder what that does. Psycho Mines detonate after a period of time, but can also be detonated by connecting with certain special moves. I had no idea about this. Special attacks that activate Psycho Mines have their damage increased, as well as allow Bison to move before his opponent is guarded, and used to gain the advantage in battle. <laughs> I had no idea about this Psycho Mine thing at all. Psycho Crusher. A quick charge forward empowered by Psycho Power deals a large amount of damage, making it particularly effective in combos. Charge towards the enemy while weak in Psycho Power. The speed at which the attack comes out differs between light, medium, and heavy versions. It's a damaging, potent tool, even more so in a combo. Single hit projectiles stand no chance against the attack, thus making it an invaluable tool. I applaud this already. A valuable tool during long range engagements. To be open to an attack if your opponent is wily enough to block it, so do not use it recklessly. <laughs> so it's a counter move to projectiles. <clears throat> Increase the number of hits and leave less of an opening on block if you do the overdrive version. Okay. Is it pervious to projectiles while you're charging forward? You may find it practical use for at mid range to launch a surprise attack on an ill prepared opponent. I think you could combo after it in certain situations too. <clears throat> Double knee press. Flip and fly toward the opponent before hitting them multiple times. A powerful tool to control space at a distance. The strength of the button used determines the distance of the move. The range of the attack is fearsome, but careless use leaves you open to attack. Imagine this attack to be akin to a spear and only attack with the tip. <clears throat> so don't do it up close. Overdrive version connects to a knee strike that will launch the opponent. Guaranteed juggle combo. Okay. This version allows for a follow-up attack to be on the launch opponent, but leaves a wide opening on block. Leave nothing to chance and ensure that it strikes true. Back fist combo. Step forward and deliver a backhand blow into a powerful palm thrust plants the Psycho Mine on hit. A multi-hit attack that blasts the enemy with great power. Any fool that it finds itself hit by will be implanted with a Psycho Mine. The mine shall detonate after a few seconds. Use this threat to your benefit to suffocate an enemy with pressure. Gah ha ha. Wow. I'm totally down. I'm going to give him the Japanese voice, honestly. Connect with a psycho powered special move while a psycho mine is embedded in the opponent and it causes it to detonate, inflicting more pain. Even if the mine is blocked, the explosion allows you to move before your foe. Gives you IC. I like that. Continue pressure. Overdrive version increases the number of hits and the damage. <clears throat> your foe will be within striking distance after the attack hits. You take full advantage of the psycho mind to ensure your efforts are rewarded. Shadow Rise. A quick and high reaching jump. Two different follow ups can be used. The strength of the button determines how far you bound forward. Shadow Rise gives you access to two overhead attacks, double reverse, and head press. So there's no more head stomp. There's the Shadow Rise, and you choose if you want the head stomp or the double reverse dependent afterwards to follow up. See that? Double reverse activated with the punch button. Reach cold in the air and move back or forth. Use it from a distance and watch the enemy's movements. Make use of its quickness to descend upon the enemy when they least expect it. Use it from a distance and watch the... Oh, I just read that. Head press activated with the kick will descend straight down on the enemy. So it goes straight down now. Okay. And then you bounce. 
Another jump will be performed after stomping on the enemy's head, which can be controlled to move back and forth. So if you try to bait something after. Okay. Press a punch button again to use Somersault Skull Diver. Your opponent will have a little time to recognize and adapt before you descend on them. Jump automatically to wherever the opponent is located with the overdrive version. You're invincible to throws until the jump occurs. So you can... Oh! You, this is how you get out of throw mix-up. In the corner, this is how you get out. You do EX jump. And you jump out of a throw mix-up. Cool. The two transition attacks are also boosted. Forward drive version of double reverse hits twice and will deal more damage. When the overdrive version of head press hits an opponent on the ground, it transitions automatically into a multi-hit attack. If blocked, you land and have the opportunity to continue your pressure. Oh! <laughs> Dude, it's the total get out of get out of corner free, right? <laughs> They'll stuff it with a normal, but if they go for a throw mix-up, do this out of the throw, and then land, and then start a hit string. This is how you get out of corners. <clears throat> Both Overdrive Double Reverse and Head Press may be used out of regular Shadow Rise with dual inputs. So you can do regular Shadow Rise and do the AX follow-up if you want. Okay. Knee Press Nightmare. Level 1 Super. Take aim at the opponent's legs with a series of crushing blows, useful as a combo ender or as a counterattack by making use of its invincibility. Long-reaching technique. Okay, we already read this, right? No. Use it in combos or for counterattack. It is invincible to enemy strikes, so ingrain that knowledge into your brain. The attack is well suited to helping you turn the tide in battle. So level one is invincible to strikes, not to, to projectiles, right? Only strikes. <clears throat> but they're showing you, you know, after some of the PX version, it's called ground bounce. It's a level one super. Psycho Punisher. This is a new one, level two. Launch the opponent into the air with the shockwave from landing of a powerful jump before following it up with a strong attack. Effective against enemies using projectiles from long range. Its direction can be controlled back and forth. Really? Let's see what this is. So, it's invincible from the jump when it lands. Turn an opponent's pressure back upon them or aim to feast on them when they cannot block. So, it's invincible from the jump to when it lands. You cannot knock them out of this air. You can't. He's completely invincible from when he's jumping to when he lands. So if he does this, you can't. What the hell? You can't hit him out of the air. It's completely invincible. What the heck? The of the jump can be controlled while in midair. Use this knowledge to punish the enemy for being naive enough to use a projectile, even from a considerable distance. Put them off guard and grind them to dust. What the heck? That sounds crazy. The fact that it's invincible until he lands is fucking nuts to me. Right? So you can't hit him with a projectile. You can't jump in the air and punch him out of it. You just got to get away from it or block it, right? Huh. That's pretty much, I think that's one of the most interesting moves so far. Level 2 Super. Unlimited Psycho Crusher. Rush towards the opponent before smashing them into the ground with devastating strength. A versatile move that can counter projectiles, be used in combos, and can turn the tables when under pressure. A massive attack that utilizes Psycho Power to its fullest. It can be used to escape pressure in combos and more. Show the opponent what true strength looks like and make them crumble in despair. Huh. Fundamentals. If you know what one thing, know this. Focus on nothing else but the complete and utter eradication of your enemy. Okay, dude. Keep a controllable gap between you and your opponent. Make use of steady medium tick from a distance and maintain your authority. At some point, you must decide to press on the defensive or stop your opponent's advances. In either case, this technique proves it to be a valuable asset. If your opponent attempts to retreat, catch them with a crouching medium kick. Wow, it has great range. Did you see how far that went out? The crouching medium is crazy range in this. Dude, that's like two character lengths. Standing Heavy Punch also has a long reach capable of reaching would-be deserter. So both of those are great pokes. Standing Heavy Punch is slow, but allows you to move even if first even if it's blocked. You need to pressure a cowardly enemy. 
Okay. Interesting. Your foolish opponent will attempt to resist you. Use this, to, use this against one who would die to jump in. Okay. Remember to time your attacks well. No matter how powerful the technique may be, you'll be punished if the opponent predicts your next move. Continue to be unpredictable in order to claim victory. Fall upon crouching heavy punch against enemies in the air nearby you and standing heavy kick against those jumping from a distance. I've heard that this crouching heavy is super good. The entire fist is invincible. It's only his body that's vulnerable. So as long as you're doing it with the right timing, they basically cannot stuff it. It will always be a perfect anti-air. You just gotta get the timing off. Standing roundhouse is kind of cool too. It's a little bit of a different angle, though. The skill to wield it is high. Catching the opponent in the air with Hell Attack rewards you with a uh, potential combo and more damage. That's just two medium punches, I believe, in the air, correct? He jumps, you go medium, medium, and then you can do a combo after because they're juggled high after the second hit. That's cool. Advance. A battle requires one to be always ready to go the, on the offensive. Be prepared to turn your opponent to dust on a moment's notice. This is where double knee press serves well. The distance will change depending on the button pressed. Ensure you're hitting it with the very edge of the attack that discourages any rodent from flinching before you. Okay. Yako Mighty says his hold back heavy kick is also a great anti air because it stops cross ups. Really? The heavy kick we, we just saw? Hmm. If the opponent has slowed their movement out of fear of double knee press, antagonize them further with drive rush. Medium and heavy punch, I think, is really good with drive rush. Yeah. Do not forget to surprise the enemy with shadow rise. Ensure you make use of both follow-up attacks to confuse them further. Delay double reverse slightly for particularly effective trap. You will move first, even if it is blocked. So you have an advantage after double reverse. Okay. Do not forget head press and its follow-up somersault skull diver. Add these two to your arsenal to create an advantageous close range position before raining blows down upon your enemy. Ga ha ha ha. So you're saying he has different roundhouses? We'll have to mess with them then. Okay. It's different versions of roundhouse, standing roundhouse. Once in close, make sure good use of strikes and throws. Connect your strikes into backfist combo when you can. Once a Psycho Mine is embedded, continue to smother them with pressure. Connect with Psycho Crusher, double reverse, or backfist combo again against the enemy embedded with a Psycho Mine to detonate it. The explosion will increase the damage of the attack used. Hitting with the overdrive version of Psycho Crusher will also give the opponent open to follow up attacks, the perfect chance to press the offense. Okay. See that? So it makes them ground bound. When blocked, the explosion allows you to move first, even when using attacks that normally have a large opening. Smother the enemy with further attacks and remind them that their abilities are meaningless before your power. Ugh. Psycho Mines will detonate automatically after a short time. Consider staying your hand and forcing the opponent to anticipate the incoming explosion. So they have to block it. Right, if they don't block it, they take an explosion. They get bounced around. Beware, however, as any hits taken at this time diffuses the Psycho Mine. Consider carefully when pushing the attack, so don't get hit or it cancels the mine out. Got it. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Cool. Now let's try some combo trials. Combo trials. M. Bison. M. Bison. Here we go. Try some stuff. So medium punch, hat forward. No, medium punch, forward, heavy punch. So that's two hit. Is that an overhead? That's. That might be an overhead, right? Because I think that's an overhead. I guess it's an overhead. Then. Okay. So it's two hit strings. You got this or this. And it's a mix up because they have to know to block high or low, right? Let's try his normal. Jab, medium, heavy. Okay, so he has standard heavy. It does combo, but only in the corner. Okay. Light kick, does light kick combo to itself? No. You can't, no super turbo here. Nope. 
Damn, like it kind of sucks. It's slow. You can't recover from it. I figured Scissor would be Fireball by the way. Oh, Roundhouse sucks. He's got a fucking startup animation. Oh, that sucks. It's too slow. You're only going to use light medium. That don't have the startup animation. Right. Hmm. Okay. Light. Medium. Pretty good range on the medium. There's the standing heavy, which I guess is anti-air. But then he's got this. Hmm. <laughs> no? Almost. Okay. Does that work mid-screen? If you counter hit with scissor kick, you, you do a combo with crouching medium. So if I do this and it can't counter hit, then I can combo. Okay. If I do that, I would do that. I would drive rush it. Like I would do... I would drive, drive rush and do a combo. Okay. A regular EX Psycho Crusher does not juggle, but if you have, if you have that, here, okay, that didn't work. Medium punch version does work. How do you cross up? Like kick? I think it's light kick. Oh, medium, medium, just like Super Turbo. Oh! Okay. Missed it. Oh, yes. There you go. There's some cross up shit. Oh, you don't want to do that. Maybe Roundhouse? Oh, you want background house. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. I'm getting it. Look at that. And then you go right to throw. Mix up. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's actually see what they want me to do with these trials. I'm just messing around right now. Interesting. All right. So during a jump, heavy kick and then down heavy kick. Oh, wait a minute. He doesn't have slide? Oh, he has... Ooh. He, has, he actually has... A, wow, did you see the range? Look at the range on that sweep. Damn. That's a really good fast downing sweep. It slided really fast in this too. But I get the feeling I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accidentally get the wrong input. I'm going to want one and get the other by accident. Okay, anyway. I like that you can combo off low medium kick. That's really good, man. That's, this is really... I like this. Psycho Crusher combos, too. So both moves combo. You probably want to do the punches, though. Now I'm thinking about it. That's probably what you want, because you always want to be putting a Psycho Mine on. Oh, I made a juggle. You guys should do it after that. You can juggle. I wonder if you can juggle with medium punch after that. Oh, you can only do one jumping medium? Oh. It only does... It doesn't do the two. It only does the one. In Super Turbo, he gets both. This, you can only get one. I guess it only works if, if it actually hits. Ah. Okay. 
Only one character counters his sweep. It's the first sweep, Jamie. So really, his sweep is like the best in the game. Damn, that's good. Okay. Trying to charge. Okay. Uh, okay. Punish counter. Gotcha. Think so. Let's see. If you were to do the punish counter, right? Damn, that's whoa! That looks cool. I really like the look of that. Ooh, I like that a lot. Uh, so if you do that, I'm trying to think. Like, what would you want to do after that? Back, probably back roundhouse, and then drive rush, probably. You do back roundhouse, drive rush, back roundhouse again. So they want me to block and then medium. Huh? I don't get this. I don't understand. I don't get this at all. What are they saying here? How would I do this? Oh, is it is it wall bounce? It is wall bounce. Oh. <laughs> I was fucking around. Okay. Let me let me try something here. He bounced. Yeah, it's kind of crappy. That's why they did this, see? That's not bad. But you probably do better than that. I wonder if you can juggle with the mediums after that. I don't know. Driver stand medium connects in the back. Oh, okay. What about crouching? No. That does. So you can keep it, keep the pressure going. Hmm. Anyway, so during a jump, okay. Basic three hit combo no one will ever use. Basic combo. Okay. Medium. There we go. But if you know, if, you, if you're drive rushing, you can do that right there. Then, What? They wanted a punch. I see. They wanted this. But I was doing the knees. I'm going to instinctively keep doing the knees because the knees has always been his go-to move. And now it's not anymore. Now, obviously, they want you to do this. And I'm going to always forget to do it. I'm always going to do knees instead. Watch. Okay. I wanted to try other stuff. That sucks. Can I go back one? Is there a way to go back one? Yeah. I want to try a different juggle. No, it doesn't work. But that works. That works. You have to hit the right angle. Okay, you have to hit the right angle. I see. Okay, you can level two super off of that too, actually. Yeah.
Can't do it a second time. Super Turbo, you can do it a third time. Can't do that. Hmm. I want to see if the stomp works in the air. It does, but you have to be right over his head. Interesting. Okay, on to the next one. So... Oh, they want to do some heavy, not EX. Okay. Too late. So, there's the juggle. So, anytime you launch that, right? Yep. There's your combo. That's your base combo. Pretty good. Pretty good damage. Yeah, look at that. That's not bad. And you got the mine on him after that. Not bad at all. You can drive her twice, too. Miserable fleet. Put a super there. Obviously, you can super. I wonder if you can super cancel Scissor into, like, level 3. Hmm. All right, anyway. So, punish counter... Oh, it ground bounces on punish counter. It ground bounces on a punish counter. Interesting. So, standing roundhouse is his punish counter. Much like with Zang, if you want to do the axe kick, with Kim, you just want to do standing roundhouse, makes them crumple, and then you get a full combo after. Okay. During, okay, they're going to drive rush. Light, low light kick, low medium kick into EX, into overhead, into that. Why do they want that? That's weird. After EX scissor, you can drive rush, crouching heavy punch into a mine. Oh, really? So you drive rush. Well, I'll be burning another meter to do that. Heavy mine punches is the one that combos on detonate. Huh. Okay. Missed it. Corner only. It's timing. The first time, now I can't get it. Corner only. Alright. This will be a counter hit. Oh, I need to know that timing. I did punch instead of kick. Shit. Ew. It didn't look right at all. The fierce punch grounded him, but then the super picked him up like off the ground. That didn't look right at, at all. I don't know how that... I don't like how that looks. At all. It looks so weird to see a fierce punch like that. It's supposed to be grounding. Then combo. It's odd. Impossible. Oh, right there's Super when he's bouncing on the ground, I bet. Fuck the mine. Shit. It's not the correct move. Miserable fleet. Oh, I don't know when. Oh no, it's level two. That's level two super. You want me to count? I see. They want me to, to do it after. Let's see. Shit. 
combo cancel. It's a combo cancel. We it's weird though. <laughs> that's very weird. So that's his level two super. That's crazy. It's invincible. You can't stop it. Once he activates it, you just have to block it and then punish, right? Huh. All right, so they want drive rush, forward, heavy punch, which is the, the punch here. Oh, no, it's not. That's the overhead. So they want to drive rush overhead. So this is showing you how to do overhead combo here. So that, yes. They want you to do overhead, low, medium, drive rush, uh, back, roundhouse, standing medium, crouching medium, into psycho crusher, into level three super. Okay. Okay, they want to back uh, roundhouse. I keep doing that. It's back roundhouse. Nope. They want back roundhouse, medium, low, medium. Okay. Oh, I keep fucking up. They want back roundhouse. And medium, low, medium. Missed it. Missed the two and one. Damn, I missed the two and one again. I didn't do it. I didn't press the right button. I pressed kick instead of punch. Kick. I pressed kick instead of punch again. I'm instinctively thinking level three super is with kick because that's his super. It's always been with kick, but it's with punch now. Pretty good overhead drive rush overhead right into a giant drive rush combo is pretty sick actually. That is pretty sick. Now hold on before I do this. I want to try that again. Think about this. Dude, this always works. It does. There you go. That's his bread and butter combo then. Any punch into back roundhouse, into that. That's bread and butter right there. You always want to drive rush into back roundhouse for max damage, and then standing medium, and then crouching medium, and then whatever finisher you want. It's the bread and butter combo, for sure. Oh, see, that's going to throw me off. After it blows up, what do you do? <laughs> that's going to throw me off, legit. This is going to interrupt my combos, right? This is it. Hmm. Okay, so what do I want me to do? Punish counter, low fierce, into EX scissors, into overhead, into sweep? What the fuck? What? That's fucking weird. <laughs> That's weird. Almost at it. That is a weird combo. He's just juggling all over the place, right? <clears throat> okay. So this would be a counter hit. Okay. While a psycho mind is set. Oh, you already have to have a psycho mind set. Well, hold on a second. How'd I get up there to hit him with that? Missed it. I have no idea how to get over there to low fierce punch him. Let's see. First they do psycho mine. Okay. Oh, it's I'm so stupid. It's down roundhouse. I 
thought it was down fierce. I'm a moron. I didn't even look at the right button input. No. It's the timing. There you go. That that low roundhouse is fast as shit. Damn. Okay. Wall of Psycho Mining set, you fuckers. Wrong one. They want it heavy. Fuck! The wall of Cyclone is hit, then you want level... Level 1 Super. Okay. Oh, I don't combo. Shit. Because while the cycle mine is set, it launches higher, then you can do level one super. Alright, interesting. Dabian says, are you having the same problems as me as kicks and punches are swapped on something? I'm so used to bison supers being with kick, it's going to be very hard for me to remember level three is with punch. I'm going to always be doing kick by accident. Okay, this is a drive rush combo. <clears throat> okay, did that combo? Oh. oh, it's standing medium. It's standing medium. Okay. And then they want. Oh, they want the psycho mine. Oh wait, it's heavy punch psycho crush. Oh, I'm not, not ready. I'm not charged. I'm the one super I'm late. I got the light kick instead. I did not do it. Nope. Didn't work. so weird. <laughs> it, it just the deep press and nightwear comboing like that is so odd. But it works. They want jump heavy, standing round now. Like that. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. So once okay, they're saying when a cycle line is set, if you then do this. Let's watch this combo. OTGs, but only when the cycle mine is set? Is it OTG only when the cycle mine is set? Look at the damage, by the way. What the fuck? So is that OTG only with the cycle mine? Let's do it without a psycho mod. Yeah, because he recovers too fast. When the psycho mine is set, it blows up. Okay. So you can continue the combo there. You can do the stomp, and you can do whatever you want after the stomp, basically. Yeah. But only when a psycho mine is set. This is this is gonna be the trickiness of Bison. You have to land the psycho mine to then do his better combos. And I think that's gonna be the catch is always being conscious. Did you land the psycho mine? So you could do the extended combo. If he has a psycho mine on him and you're hitting him, you always wanna end with an EX Psycho Crusher. Because then after that you can OTG with the EX Stomp into a giant ender combo. But if he doesn't have the psycho mine on him, the combo is severely limited. You can't do those good enders then. 
So you basically, when you start the fight with, with Bison, you always want to end with it. No matter what, you want to get a Psycho Mine on your opponent to start. Then once it's on, now you want to try to land that second combo, but finish with the move that takes advantage. So the EX Psycho Crusher is going to cause that big animation explosion that then lets you do an OTG and do another combo after or extend that combo for giant damage. He's way more complex than he seems on paper. At first, he seems more simple, but with this Psycho Mind mix-up, he has potential for insane damage. He really does. That's what happens is they're not on the ground. You get an animation. Look at that. And you keep going. So if it hits you, get a free combo. Yeah. I, I think I'm getting, I'm kind of getting it now. Wow. Did you throw mix up? Or. Oh, I whiffed. See, that's going to suck when you whiff. You're probably what you always want to do round half. It's going to suck when you miss the punch, though. Yeah, it does suck when you miss the punch. You probably don't always want to do throw mix up. You probably want to, you want to be comboing into the other move to get the mine on you. Missed the below medium. I don't know why. That's what you want to be doing. So now you got the mine. Now you get more, more advancing. You do level one super. Anytime they explode, you can do level one super. Or I think you could do EX. Let me try something. I'm just going to wait it out and see when they explode. Let me try this. Yes! I'm trying to see what combos what doesn't off of it. Regular. Yes. Okay. See, I'm trying to figure out what to do. No. I think that might work, but let me try again. Yes, you can do it again, and you get a second Psycho Mine setup. What are you supposed to do, though, after that? Probably like after that level one super, something like that. Mm, man, he's very tricky. He's got a lot to him. He's got a lot more to him than at, than at face value. He really does. Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep doing these trials. I think I kind of want to play with them now. That's right. The psycho mind detonates if they block. So if they're not ready for it, it causes a juggle state. You gotta be ready. So basically, what can you do? Oh, one other thing I want to try. Can you do jumping medium punches? Yes! But I whiffed. Okay. The jumping medium punches even work. So if they get caught with that at any time and it blows up, do the mediums into a free combo. Yeah. For good damage, of course you can do level 3 there as well. Yep. Wow. Anytime the cycle mine hits, you got a free juggle. If you got super, you got a bigger juggle.
I want to see if that works. I don't know if it will. Probably not. I'll try one more time. I don't think so. Nope. Goes through. The other moves work. That one doesn't for some reason. Um. Okay, so... Hmm. Combo dog medium doesn't combo up. Okay. So if you're gonna combo off low medium kick, you have to use medium. If you're gonna combo off of low medium punch, you have way more options. Okay. Interesting. This is all very specific stuff. So low, medium, kick, drive rush, you have to use mediums only. If you do low, medium, punch, then you could go into back roundhouse for maximum combo. After a drive impact, you could do back roundhouse, drive rush into a full combo. You always want to be doing your first combo into the, the this so that you can get your, your mine. After the mine pops, you have various juggle options. If you combo after the mine, you want to do EX Psycho Crusher. See, I miss. It's very specific. Man. All right. Well, so level one. Level two is interesting. Go through fireballs. Psycho Crusher absorbs a fireball. EX Psycho Crusher passes through and does a combo. Level three. Wow. He's got so much to him. I, I kind of just want to... I just want to go online and start playing with him because he's so weird and different and there's going to be situations you want to end in scissors for a throw mix up. There's going to be situations where you want to combo into the mine. Man, he's got so much. I, I feel like he's so complex. I don't know how I'm going to do with him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, all right. Well, that was interesting to take a look at him. Now I want to actually play with him. So let's do that. Cool.